Real quick, before we get started, if you missed the announcement, we rescheduled the live Christmas sale for this Tuesday, November 23rd. Join Yvonne and I for some fun. Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and to a Thursday night thrifting adventure. Tonight is really an adventure because if you've been around a long time, you might know that I used to have a Goodwill right down the street from me. It was right here in Talmadge, Ohio, and they closed their doors. They were in this plaza and I think the building they were in was kind of falling apart around them and they were not happy with that location, so they closed. It broke my heart because honestly, this little kind of boutique style Goodwill near me was one of the reasons why I was inspired to do the channel because I was in that store finding amazing things. Some of my favorite things I've ever found, I found in that store. So I really was sad when they closed down and guess what? We have a new location. They just opened last week, <laughs> last week. So I think their opening was like on a Tuesday and I was there on the weekend. And oh my gosh, you guys, I found some amazing things and I'm taking you with me. So without further ado, let's go to my new Goodwill right down the street. Let's go. Yay, here we are, the brand new Goodwill. It is at 501 South Avenue in Talmadge. It's in the plaza that used to hold the big Kmart and it is next door to the Planet Fitness. It's just kind of stuck in the corner here, but look at how long and narrow it is. Lots of room. Thought it was gonna be quite a bit smaller, but I was surprised. Of course, I started in the Christmas section because as you know, I'm looking for Christmas things. We have our two booths at the Shops by the Lake in Painesville, and when I'm working there, I realize how much Christmas stuff is flying out the door. So I need to find as much as I can to get it in the booths while people are looking for it. And this is always a great place to get stuff for that. I did see this bag of ornaments over here. It had a glass pine cone ornament and some other little embellishments that I thought would work for um, an assemblage that I'm working on. So I did grab that, it was only 50 cents. And then up here I saw this box and this is an amazing piece of Blue Sky Clayworks. It's a Christmas chimney scene. Unfortunately, this was missing the bottom section and without it, it's just not worth very much. But if you can find it with the base, probably looking at somewhere between 50 and $80 right now. Right in this condition, just the top, probably only a 16 to $18 sale. So for $5, I had to pass. These are cute little plates in here. And this guy was really cute. But he's a K's collection and they're not really worth much money. So $3 was a bit for him. Then I saw this piece up here and it looks to be a full set, a vintage set of Native American nativity. So of course I had to check it out, looked in the box and all of the pieces are here and they're all in wonderful condition. Look at how cute they are. Yeah, I definitely grabbed these guys. Pretty great, right? I'm gonna try and get it out of the ring light there. There you go. <laughs> it is a Native American nativity set. They are all ceramic. They're all in there. I wouldn't call it new in the box because it's probably been displayed before, but all the pieces are nestled right in the styrofoam and that's awesome. No damage, they look great. And I will share a comp. This is gonna go on eBay. I'll share a comp down here and I'll be somewhere around that price. So pretty awesome, I paid $6. Looks like I will have close to 10 times my money on this. Right behind where I was looking at the Christmas stuff were all of the linens and things. And I spotted this out of the corner of my eye. Just loved the colors, loved this kind of woven textile. Had a very cool boho look to it. And yeah, it looked like it was new from Pier 1. Still had the uh, sales stickers on it. And there were two. So how awesome is this? 
it doesn't look like they're both the exact same size. I think one's a little bit longer than the other, but my goodness, I love them. They look amazing. And I don't know if you can see the wall color here. Oh, sure, back here. It is this same kind of dark burgundy. So one of these will probably get put onto eBay and one of them will get put on my table because <laughs> I think it'll look amazing. Uh, I'm having a little regret passing this up. This was a beautiful cut work um, table runner. It did have some condition issues, but they were kind of minor and oh, that color was so pretty. And I went down and I kind of looked through the rest of these things. And I spotted this, which also had these beautiful little tassels. It was super clean and kind of boho. And it had a brand on it called Rachel Zoe. So I grabbed it. There must have been something about tassels today. <laughs> this has these big chunky tassels. It is a lap blanket or throw that is made by Rachel Zoe. And I looked on eBay and found that Rachel Zoe stuff does pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on eBay. It's very clean. It's very nice. Oh, look, it's an aluminum cake keeper. I always wanted to find one of these. Will from Will's Vintage Treasures and Vlogs always finds these. This one is not great. Plus they wanted $5 for it, had a big dent in it, so I passed on it, but I at least can say I found one finally. <laughs> they had some pretty clear glass and some cut glass, but the prices were not great. That one was priced for $5, and as you can see, it only sells for between 7 and 8 This is an older piece, but it had a big doink taken out of the side of it but you can see they had quite a bit of crystal and things kind of shining. Oh, and this piece up here, this big bowl right here, that was very fancy. Look at all of the scroll work and art in that. Ah, and then I found this. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. I love him. 50 cents. How awesome is this? I want to say it's just a little trinket dish it's like a little mini dish it has the coolest craziest critter on there i want to say he's he's yelling hey. he's really cool turns out he is made by the ceramic artist ron korsinski there is a little sticker here it's also stamped with the rk and his stuff is really crazy cool i'll share some with you right here Look at some of the whimsical, cool, artsy things that he makes. I just love that I found a little piece of his because, you know, I don't know what kind of value it has, but it's crazy cool. <laughs> I think he might become a ring dish for me and he might go in the kitchen or somewhere where I normally just take my rings off and throw them down. He's just too neat. This new Goodwill it has things sectioned off by color and I am in the gold section and I found this beautiful gold mug. It's the Tree of Life by Gustav Klimt. I was thinking about putting this in our coffee corner collection over at the booth, but it looks like it might have a little bit better value on eBay, somewhere between 18 and $20, which is great since I picked it up for a buck. So I think it's gonna go over to eBay. Still in this gold section, I found these pretty brass bells. They had $5 a piece on them, so I had to pass. But right underneath them was this, and I knew exactly what this was. This is an oil lamp, and I have bought one of these before, so I grabbed this for sure. So these are made by Wolfard Glass Blowing Company. There's the little sticker right there. That'll help. <laughs> And I put mine up and it sold very quickly. So I imagine with the base, this is a nine inch oil lamp, um, but with the base, I can ask a little bit more and if I price it right, it should also sell pretty quick. I paid $5 for it and that is exciting. It looks like we've moved into 
like a beige section maybe? <laughs> that little picture was cute, but it weighed nothing. And these were really cute. I'd never seen that decorative carved um, Dutch shoe before, but I'm just not into the Dutch shoes. And then this thing really got my attention, especially since it only had a dollar on it. I like that little raised cactus. But I set it down because I thought, you know, I'm going to look it up. Let me take a look around here, see what else is here. This guy was cute. But $3. I'm guessing he's a $12 to $15 piece. Maybe a little bit more, but just not worth the pickup. Pretty teapot, but it had a busted spout. And this was unique. This says Calvin Klein on it, which I thought was, I don't know. It kind of put me off of it, but maybe I should have grabbed that. It looks like, I only found one other one, but it looks like maybe it was a $30 to $35 piece. And I see some Avon bottles up here. Oh, and this hedgehog. Look at how cute he was. Oh, I love that little face. I considered him, but he had $5 on him too. And he was modern. This was vintage, but... Look what I spied back there behind this. It's another one of these. Oh my gosh. Now I'm really intrigued. And they, this one only has $2 on it. Oh, you know I grabbed both of these. They're like hanging plants. I've also seen them listed as bird feeders. And I will show you there's a current listing for both of these together. I want to say it's about $35. I'll share that here. But they should sell for somewhere between 15 and 20 um, a piece. Probably a little bit more for this one. And I just love them. They have a very cool boho mid-century vibe. I spotted this cute little hand-turned pottery piece. Unfortunately, it had a little chunk out of it. And then I saw this guy. And he had his original tag in him. The artist says he digs up his own clay out of the Arizona desert. I love that. I grabbed this. I was gifted an aloe plant by my Aunt Beth, and I've been looking for another planter that I can separate the aloe into because it's gone a little crazy. <laughs> so this little planter made by Keystone Ceramics out of Arizona was just the perfect little planter for me. I'll share a picture of it here. It's actually out in the kitchen, so I don't have it right here in front of me, but I have already transplanted the main part of the aloe plant into that bowl. I wanted the bigger part of the aloe plant to have a place to you know, grow, so I used the bigger new planter for that piece. And then the other ones are in a nice little glass where they're rooting, and I will transplant a couple of those in old container and I need a couple more little ones because I have like five of them so I need to like plant five little <laughs> aloe plants and see if they take root and maybe gift them to some friends so that's the plan anyway. Here's another thing that I recognized and when I slid this out and saw the design of it oh my heart fluttered how cute is this and they only want a dollar. I have found one of these before. This is a love spoon. Oftentimes this is like a Welsh tradition to gift these for like a married couple or a couple who just got a house. It has like history to it. And I have found one that had, I want to say it was more of like a heart decoration up here. But how cool is this? It's very neat. There is a small, right here, a small little chip. I think I'll hit it with one of my dark grain wood markers just so it's not so obvious, but it really does not distract from the beauty of the piece. And I love that it came with history of the Welsh love spoon and the different things and their meanings. I thought that was neat. I'll probably take a picture of each one of these pages so that I have it in record. But then, yeah, I will definitely sell this with the spoon. Wouldn't it be awesome to have a whole collection of these? Can you imagine a wall with just a bunch of these beautifully carved wooden spoons? Oh my gosh. Like I need another collection, right? <laughs> I'm just saying it would be a really great one if you had one. I 
am a big fan of these shaker boxes. I just think they're beautiful. This one is really nicely constructed. You can feel the quality, especially in the lid. It's a nice heavy lid. It has these beautiful brass rivets that, you know, hold it together. This one is modern. I would not say that this has much age at all, but it is gorgeous. Even if you find these new, they have a value to them and they should sell pretty well on eBay. This one is a single finger. This is called a finger. A lot of times you'll see them and they have like three of these or four of these. Um, this is just a single finger Quaker box and look at the wood on that. It's gorgeous. This will be hard to let go of because I love things like this, but I will list this on eBay and I'll share here what I plan to sell it for. I'm checking out the baskets and things and I noticed this and I have to share this because it's so cool. Check out this wood spice rack with the little salt and pepper grinders in there. They wanted eight for it. It did have some condition issues and uh, I do love that 70s kitchen stuff but it's not quite my vibe. Reminds me of something that my friend Cindy might pick up. This however Notice something was growing out of the bottom of it. <laughs> and doesn't this look like the kind of pottery, the colors and stuff that I've been collecting? Oh yeah. I love this. Obviously it's pottery. <laughs> it's got my natural vibe, my greens and browns, earth tones. Um, but what I love about it is it has this kind of Ikebana feel to it where you can put two stemmed pieces here in some sort of cool display. There was some rocks in there you saw in the video. Um, I got rid of those, but man, is it cool. I love how it's structured. It is signed. I think it says JB and I paid $3 for it. It is going into my collection, which you all will see soon. After finding that small piece of pottery, I thought, that's awesome. If I could find one piece of pottery every time I'm out, that would be amazing. And then I spotted this and oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. My heart was going pitter patter so fast. And the fact that it was in perfect condition, oh, life is good. Life is good. I cannot even believe the luck I have had in finding real handmade artist pottery at Goodwill. Look at this piece. This is crazy, right? It's so awesome. Look at the little feet on it. And this beautiful lid with this little twisty finial top. I paid $6. This is what's left of the sticker. <laughs> six dollars y'all and it is the most gorgeous lantern so you could light it up it's got holes on the top holes on the sides it's beautiful little feet and it is an artist signed piece it's going right into my collection and i am like still kind of freaked out about it because it is so cool if you could feel the weight it is so heavy and so nicely made. I just can't get over those little feet. Knowing that I could go home happy, I spied this. Oh, what's this? I came around that end cap and like you saw how quick I shut the camera off. I literally caught him on camera and then, I don't know, something like this fear jumped into me like, grab it, grab it. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody else is gonna get it he is so big and he has the most beautiful painted back it says Mexico right in here somewhere look at those cranes on both sides oh he is just so cool I don't have anything like this in my collection I have a lot of big ducks but they're in that sandstone and I keep getting more and more of the pieces that are like the lighter, highly glazed pieces. Oh, he's just so neat. I paid $8 for him. And you know he's staying with me. <laughs> 
I feel like maybe I need to separate my shelves now based on like the look of the pottery, but he will be the focal point of one of these shelves. He might have to sit looking out the window so that I can appreciate his back art. He's got an amazing tattoo back here that cannot be hidden by facing out. <laughs> All right, that is it guys, that was my haul. I filled my cart at the very first trip to our brand new Talmadge Goodwill and I'm so excited about that. Didn't I find some great stuff? I'm so excited to have one right around the corner from me again. I'm sure we're gonna be there many times <laughs> since it is gonna be my close place to go shop and I will definitely take you with me again. Thank you so much if you're still here with me at this point, I love you, I appreciate you, thanks for hanging out. If you're here and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Please subscribe. Just uh, click on that subscribe button and then click on the little alarm and set it to all so you'll know when I put up a new video, which happens a couple of times a week. While you're clicking around down there, click on a like or a dislike and then do me a favor and leave me a comment down below. Tell me what I found that you were like, what? Or just say hello. And then the best thing you can do for the channel is share me out. Share this video with a friend, tell them that you found somebody who likes to thrift like you do and treasure hunt and shares information and shares bolos, which are things to be on the lookout for. And hopefully they'll subscribe and join our little Yoso Boho tribe. All right, everybody, take care. I will see you after the weekend on Tuesday. Bye.